Thank you for joining me today. My name is Caroline Sullivan and this is Too Fit to Quit Exercise. Today I'm going to be bringing you a leg workout from the bar series. I will have an upper body 30 minute video for you to add to this leg workout and you will be able to choose this later on uh, in my collection. Uh, please consult your physician before attempting to try any of these exercises and uh, make sure you have a water bottle and a towel, a mat, a chair, but really you can do these exercises anywhere, your bedroom, your bathroom, uh, outdoors, anywhere. That's the fun of it. My purpose and goal today is to get you off of your joints and using your muscles. So if you have never worked out before or you're intimidated to go to your gym, um, I'm the one for you. I'm a 30 year professional. Uh, I've rarely missed any, any classes in the 30 years that I've been teaching, uh, maybe two to three weeks collectively. Um, and I know what I'm doing and I thank you for your trust in me. So right now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and get uh, settled with our feet about two feet apart. You want your hips tucked slightly under, your abs pulled in. I want you to relax your shoulders and just take a big deep breath through your nose. And then you wanna exhale out your mouth. You'll get deeper breaths this way. Deep breath through the nose. Exhale out the mouth. Two more times. Deep breath through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And one more time, inhale through the nose. And then out through the mouth. We're gonna come on up with our arms and warm up our torso by reaching. You wanna to reach toward the ceiling, really stretching up and out from your torso. You're gonna to really feel it in those obliques right here on your waist. Reach, just reach. Think about yourself. You may have a mirror in front of you. That would be helpful for you to be able to see your form. So you might wanna think about that next time you join me for the next workout. So we're actually reaching through our obliques. We're stretching, we're actually warming up this torso, the core. Reach, reach, and then we're gonna to reach to the front. Uh, I see a lot of this where just a complete reach, just a reach with no shoulder turn. We want you just to turn that shoulder from front to back, from front to back. You are warming up the upper back muscles as well as your waist. There again, the core. Reach, reach. This is range of motion. Activities that will involve these muscles are going to be looking in your rear view mirror or in your side mirror when changing lanes. A lot of us, as we age, uh, we don't do these exercises and then our muscles get all tight. You're unable to turn your neck, unable to turn from the torso, and you will find that you will um, change that situation quickly with this workout. So we're gonna go from front to back. We're gonna start from the waist only, sliding side to side. Now I'd rather you put your arms here to get rid of that hip wiggle. You're not moving anything really from the hips down. You're just moving from the waistline side to side. So whether your arms are out and you've got this mastered, your tailbone is tucked slightly under, abdominals tucked in, you can pull your arms in to assure yourself you're not using your hips and you are just using your obliques. You want to drop your arms. There again, this is just like a standing ab crunch. So you can get your abdominal workout just by standing or you can do these seated. So you want to just not stretch with the arm, but just you can cross your hands across your shoulders just to make sure that you're maintaining that safe level of crunch or stretch. You're not stretching and getting into the spine. You're just using your obliques and your muscles, warming them up in your core during the stretch. So we've done with this. We're gonna take another deep breath and exhale and we're gonna turn hold on to your chair or bar, and you're going to stretch your heel back into the ground. You're actually stretching into the Achilles. Lots of us want to maintain the standing position, but if you lean forward at an angle, you've got a direct angle from your shoulder joint, hip, and ankle, 
and you're gonna, gonna get a really good stretch to the back of your heel. So a lot of us have feet problems, foot problems, where tendons, uh, you're not used to uh, uh, working out, maybe your feet are stiff, maybe they're numb. Um, people tend to have all kinds of problems with their feet, maybe from too much weight on their body, just not enough exercise. But what you're gonna do is just roll through the ball of the foot and keep in mind as you roll, think to yourself, think about your arch, think about your outer sole. Think about your arch, think about your outer sole. Now think about, just come center to the back with the heel, center back, center back, and then you're gonna hold. So we've got the bottom of that foot all warmed up. We're just gonna take our hip and tuck it under. You're gonna feel a stretch in your hip flexor right here. This muscle tends to get very tight just from living life. And it can pull your whole skeleton out of alignment, causing lots of back problems and uh, just different kind of problems. Uh, lots of problems uh, can be solved simply from stretching. So just drop that knee down, push that hip forward. You're gonna feel a stretch like you've never felt before. You can go deeper by taking the same arm, lifting it up over the head and you're actually getting a nice separation in between your rib cage and your hip. So, we've warmed that up. We're gonna actually bring this foot in, take the same foot, press the heel forward, chin goes out, tailbone goes the opposite direction. Take your body weight from your torso, place it on the chair or your quad, never on the knee joint. Make sure you have your hand above or below your knee joint. So you're gonna take a deep breath through the nose, Exhale and reach to your toes right here. Take a deep breath. To go deeper, instead of rounding the back, you're just going to bend the elbow down deeper. And then hand to quad, bend the knee, tilt the hip, and roll back up. So we're going to the other side. You're gonna place that heel to the ground. There again, stretching out the Achilles, up through the calf muscle. You're gonna begin rolling up through the ball of that foot, thinking about the inner insole, your arch, thinking about the outer sole, the center of your foot, just loosening it up, those muscles and tendons, rolling through. This also helps us pick our feet up when we walk. Feel that nice stretch. Center back, you're gonna tilt the hip under Feel the stretch in that quad and hip muscle. Deep breath in, exhale, arm is over the ear. Feel that separation of the rib cage and the hip. Hold it and release. Take that same foot, pull it forward, push the glutes back, your chin stays up and out. Remember the hand goes above or below the joint. Your body weight is going to be on this quad or the chair. So you're gonna take a deep breath through the nose. And instead of rounding the back over like you've seen or like we've all seen all our lives, you're just gonna reach down to where you can hold. Your calf muscle, if you can reach your toe, reach your toe, take a deep breath and then drop this elbow. Thereby keeping a flat back, good posture. Feel the stretch up through your calf muscle and hamstring. Take a deep breath. Exhale, go deeper. And then you're gonna tilt those hips, bend the knee, roll your body back up. We're now going to focus on our calf muscles. Uh, this, these protect the back of the knee. It also uh, strengthens the ankle to keep us from falling. If we do fall, we recover quickly. So you're gonna put your feet into first position. First position is a ballet position that is learned your children, if you drop them off at ballet class, this is something of what they're experiencing. So you're gonna lift up onto the balls of your toe. You don't have to lift this high. You can just lift a little bit. You can do this seated in a chair. Drop the heels. You're gonna squeeze up, up, and up. So you're flexing out this quad muscle. Flexing out. My glutes are pulled together and they're tight. My abs are in. And I'm gonna do as many of these as I can. 
I normally do sometimes around a minute in a normal leg class, but what I want you to do is to do as many as you can, and when you feel like you have hit your limit, stop and shake it out. Um, I like to say I'm a bus driver, and you can get on and off this bus as many times as you want, but the whole point is for you to do as many as you can to fatigue the muscle, stop and shake it out, and fall back in. These are isometric contractions. These are high repetition with no weight, which will build true strength and cuts. Cuts are always real pretty to have for your legs. If you're a female and you like to wear heels, you know, your legs will look beautiful. But the best part about it is as we go into our 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, your ankles are strong. You are able to balance. You have balance. You are able to walk without shuffling. You pick your foot up. You roll through your ball of your foot and step into your heel. And if you are to trip at any point in time, you catch yourself, your ankles are strong, there's no problem. So we're gonna hold it up and we're just gonna pulse and squeeze and pulse and squeeze. And I'd say four, three, two, and one. Wow, that was a workout. <laughs> so one thing you can do to stretch, place your toe up against the back of your chair or a wall, and then push your hip up toward the chair, getting a deep stretch through your calf muscle. And you wanna hold it as long as you can, maybe at least 30 seconds. Then you're gonna switch, butt that heel up against the back of the chair, and then pull your hip straight. You get a nice stretch through the back of the calf muscle. And then release. Now we're gonna to go to the front of the shin right here. So you're going to lift your toes and flex this muscle right here. This muscle is up under your, uh, lines the tibia, supports up under the knee. So there again, you know it's the popular thing, you know, with joint replacement, getting the shots in the knee for knee pain, uh, the CBD oil for the knee pain, the joint pain. If we would just concentrate on building our muscles and strengthening our muscles, we would not have this problem. <laughs> you can turn it around easily. You can do these seated in a chair. You know, you can watch television and sit down and do these toe lifts and strengthen that front of your leg. The, this muscle that lines your tibia right up under the knee so four, I'm really feeling these. I don't know about you. Two and one. Oh, that's plenty. Take the toe back and just drop. So you're just getting a little stretch through the front of your leg. And then we're gonna switch. So now we have completely worked out our feet all the way up through the bottom of our knee. So we're gonna concentrate now on our quads. So the quadricep, this is so important. This muscle, there's an outer, a top of the quad, and an inner right here. So you can do toe front or top of the foot up, turn your ankle in or your toe in a little, or ankle up. Top, outer, top, inner. So you're gonna start in third position with your heel in to your arch. Squeeze your glutes in, abs are tight. And my ballet teacher always said, try to stand as if you have a book on your head. Your chest is uplifted, you're not leaning back, you're not hanging on and leaning sideways or leaning forward and looking all cockeyed. <laughs> stand tall, erect, maintain the position of holding maybe a book on your head. You want to point your toe forward, or if you're a man or a woman, whatever, if you feel better flexing, you can flex. Push the ball of your foot out, that works, or push your heel out. But I'm going to point my toe for this one. So I'm going to turn my ankle up, and believe it or not, you're going to use your lower abs in this workout. You're going to have a soft knee, 
tight glutes, you're kind of sitting back on your glutes as if you have a bar stool underneath you. So that's what's holding you. You're gonna use your lower abs to lift and lower, and lift and lower. And depending on how strong your abs are, you'll be able to lift a little higher maybe than your friend, if you have a friend with you right now working out, or if you're in class. Don't look at your neighbor, this is your workout. So, I'm able to go a little higher than normal from teaching these classes over the past five years. I can really feel it in my quad right here. So my quad is picking up my foot, my lower abdominals are working, I feel a stretch right here, crunch. This is getting up under that belly, lower abs, as well as working this quad, which I'm really feeling at this point. So four, <clears throat> let's do three more, three, let's do two, and one, and hold down, and you're just going to pulse it. Lift. Yes, I know you feel it. I feel what you feel. You can pull the arm out, just like this, in balance. Chest is up. Check your form. Four, three, two, and we're going to hold. You're going to push out with the ball of that foot or toe or heel if you're using your heel. You're really feeling it. I want you to watch that muscle. Flex, flex. Make it talk. Make it talk. Crunch. This is your cut and definition and your strength. If you were jogging four miles, this would be your long distance run. <laughs> For your muscles, four, three, two, and one. Wow, okay. So we're gonna take this work leg and we're gonna take it back. Same exercise we warmed up with. Drop the hips forward, drop the knee down. Feel the stretch in your quadricep muscle. If you don't have bad knees, you can also, and I'm gonna stretch this leg out as well. If you don't have bad knees, you can always go knee to knee. Take your foot, push your hip bone, under. What you don't want to do is start pulling it out into that 1980s runner stretch. That's out. Knee to knee, tilt the hip under. So that's one way to stretch it. Or like I said, just drop the knee and hip, push the hip forward and down, and getting that nice deep stretch through the leg. So we're going to go to the other leg. Third position, I know you hear me breathing. You get a fantastic workout doing this class, even though all you're doing is standing here. Uh, into third position, tall, book on the head, chest is up. You're gonna lightly, you're in a light plie, so a light knee bend, but you're actually sitting back on your glute back here, like a bar stool's behind you. Point that toe or flex that heel, whatever your uh, choice is. So you're gonna use this muscle and your lower abs, just the inner thigh right here at this point, to lift and lift and lift and lift and lift and lift and lift. Now you may only be coming halfway up. That's fine. Go as low as you need to be. This is your workout and up. You should be feeling it in the standing leg as well as the working leg. <laughs> last two, last one, you're gonna hold. We're gonna start pushing. This is called bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. So you can watch this muscle move. I want you to make sure this muscle is moving, moving, or flexing, flexing. I'm trying to use any kind of terminology I can to explain exactly what you're doing and what you need to be feeling. So keep crunching. Stop if you need to, of course. Last four, three, two, and one. You're gonna release it. Take that leg, drop it back, drop your knee down. I've all, uh, another trick, an instructor trick, is to turn your toe in just a little bit in the front and that gives you balance. <laughs> Sometimes you get a little wobbly, you know. Boy, I'm really feeling the stretch all the way down through my quad. And th this leg worked just as hard. So I'm gonna take this foot back and drop this knee down. 
Once again, releasing my hip flexors and my quads. And release. So, you think that's a, we've done a lot already, but we have not. So the next exercise we're going to do is for our inner thighs and quads and glutes. This is a good one. You want your toes pointed to the corners. And um, I'm gonna get you off your joints. It's common for, um, for all of us to actually, in a squat, begin to squat like this. And I see my knees going out, they're pointy. There's pressure on them, I feel it. We don't really want that. We want to sit back a little bit with our hips. You want to go back, backward. You want to keep a portrait face, okay? A lot of times I see this, you know, that's using your back. You want to stay upright, sit back in your glutes. Your weights are in your heels. Your weight is in your heels. You're going to sit back, sit back. And you may not be able to come this low, but if you're here, that's fine, or here if you're able. And you're just going to sit. So the weight is in my heel, the weight is in my heel, I'm tapping my toes, I'm tapping my toes, I'm feeling this in my inner thigh, my inner quad, the top of my quad, my glutes, my hamstrings, I feel it in my calf muscles, and these muscles are the muscles that not only uh, give you the strength to get up a hill, to get up out of a chair, to get up off the floor. You know, that's a big problem, getting them up, up, up off the floor. Some of us are in our 40s and cannot get up off the floor. And much less being in our 70s and unable to get up out of the bathtub. That should not be, okay? That should not even be a problem. <laughs> So make, this is the main reason I'm making these videos, <laughs> to give us all somewhere to start where you feel good about yourself and you're going to get so much stronger each day by performing these exercises. Your heart rate gets up, you see me breathing, <laughs> so you're burning fat. This is a, a low impact, high energy workout. Lots of concentration. So now I'm going to hold. I'm just going to relax my arms on this chair. My face is front. Keeping my back flat. Really feeling it in those quads. Sitting down into my glutes. Now I'm going to do what's called a releve. I'm going to come up on my toes and sit and sit and sit and sit and sit and lift and sit and lift is four and three and two and heels down and tap. I know you feel it. I feel what you feel. Keep going. Final four, three, hang in there, smile, two and one. Step together. Wow. Wow, heart rate is soaring. Take that foot back, tilt the hip under, drop the knee and stretch the muscle. You can take the arm over the ear again, get a little deeper. Other side, drop back and tilt the hip. We're more concerned with our quads. We're not really gonna hold our heel back down for very long. Woo! I'm already glowing. Southerners glow, we don't sweat. And down. All right, so we've performed, that's called a plie squat. That's a grand, um, this is a plie. That's a grand plie, okay, that's what we did. Or it could be called a sumo squat. We are fitness and bar is fitness. This is not just a ballet class. This is a, this is using techniques from ballet with fitness, combined with fitness to strengthen our muscles. So the next move I'm gonna do I do this quite frequently with seniors. Um, so a lot of people are scared to bend their knee, to go down on one knee. So this is how um, I'll work this. You're gonna take your inside foot or the, beside the chair. You're actually gonna step back. Now this is not far enough right here. You're gonna have to really 
step back, okay? Step back. You want your knee joint stacked over your ankle. None of this forward business. That is out. Form over function, period. So you're gonna keep your knee joint, which is only meant to hinge. By hinging, I mean like this. I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna stand. I'm gonna sit. My knee is not gonna move over my ankle, okay? Here's another thing I found. We all wanna stand up right and do these kind of lunges. Well, look at my knee, okay? Keep it where it is. Angle your body as if you're an Olympic runner or high school runner. Push your power, your power glute. This is the glute we're going to be working right here on the back side. I, you can actually bend your knee down because you're at an angle. You're loaded, loaded right here. You're going to turn your toe a little bit in for balance. And all you're going to do is lift. So you're balanced on the front foot. Just touch off with your toe. Bend the knee. Lift, touch off, lift. Notice my knee is not going forward and back. I'm just hinging. I'm hinging, that is a hinge. It is a joint. Your muscle is what you want to use. Your muscle, I'm pushing off, pushing off. Now, if this is as far as you can go, you might be 80 years old and doing this exercise video. You, you can just go as low as this. Just a, just a little, feel a little bit in the glute, okay? But I've seen a lot of seniors, after doing these techniques, be able to actually come down, load in their glute, and push up through their heel, which means you will finally be able to get up off the floor and out of the bathtub. <laughs> you just wanna feel that muscle. Take off, remember to stay at an angle. An angle, think about Superman. Last two, and last one, and release. Wow. So that is your glute, your ham, your quad. So you're gonna push this working leg out, your heel, sit back into your hamstring. I've got my weight on the chair. Take a big deep breath of the nose. Exhale out the mouth. My chin is up. I'm going to just hold where I can. I have long arms, so I'm able to actually reach my toes. Take a deep breath. And instead of rounding the back, bend the elbow down deeper, keeping a flat back. Chin is out. And then hand to the quad. Soften the knee, tilt the hip, and roll up out. So now we're going into the other side. Turn the foot in. Get a nice range between both feet. Remember, we're not gonna be going forward and back. You just wanna stack the knee, push into your powerhouse. Remember, you're balancing on this one foot. You're just gonna be pushing off of it. Pushing off of it. Through your heel and your glute. Heel and glute, so I'm gonna push off. I'm gonna push off. I'm gonna push off. Feeling it in my glute. Weight is in my heel. I have nothing in my knee. Up and lift. Let's do four more. Final four. Last three. Just two. And one. Perfect. Push that heel forward. Hips go back. Chin stays up. Support above the quad, take a deep breath. Exhale, walk down to where you can stretch, whether it be the calf muscle, hold on to that, or your toe. Chin stays out, take a deep breath. Exhale and drop the elbow. Hands to quad, soft knees, hip tuck, roll up and out. I'm gonna focus now on the hamstrings. My time is about to wind up. So the hamstrings, the opposing muscle of the quad. If you work the top, you gotta work the back. This supports the back of the top of the knee. There's so much more I could do in this class, but you'll have to come to see another one to get the rest of it. So anyway, today what I'm gonna to choose to do are, is a, a simple hamstring move. You're gonna go knee to knee, okay? You've got an L-shaped leg. 
You don't want that knee in front. No, no, that's that's just not it. Pull the in. So stack your joints. There again, they're stacked together. So you have a muscle called your hamstring right here. It's a lot like your bicep muscle, okay? It's this ball right here of muscle. <laughs> so you're actually just gonna flex your foot and squeeze, squeeze. It's easy to cramp. <laughs> I tell you, so be careful on your resistance, but you do want to maintain resistance. And you're gonna squeeze, 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 squeeze. Oh yeah, I feel it, I feel it. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. You're actually gonna push with your heel, pull with your toe. Push with your heel, pull with your toe. Push, pull, resist. Resist the push and pull, resist. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Press it forward and sit back into your hamstring stretch. And reach. Breathe. Soft knee roll up. Let's do the other side. Knee to knee. Flex the heel and curl. Hamstring curl is what this is called. You'll see hamstring machines in your gym where you lie flat on your stomach, hook your feet behind the roller pad. I find that these are much better because you're actually having to use your own resistance. You know, you're not in any kind of awkward position, I don't think. You're actually feeling that muscle pump, pump, just like you would your bicep muscle. Pump it like you're pumping a tire or a stability ball. <laughs> And squeeze, squeeze, four, three, two, and hold. Now you're gonna push and pull, push and pull, push and pull. This just puts the icing on the cake. And push and pull, four, three, two, one. Drop the heel and sit back. Take a deep breath. Exhale, keep the chin up. Reach for your calf muscle, your toe, whatever, uh, whatever you can reach at this point. Feel the stretch up the back of your hamstring. Soften the knee, Tips, uh, hips tuck under and roll up out of it. Uh, one more exercise for your hamstrings. I get everyone to put their hands behind their back. This is called a deadlift in fitness, but in ballet, it is an arabesque. <laughs> So, but what I'm gonna to do today is just both heels to the floor, and you're, I'm gonna turn an angle so the camera can see me a little better. You don't want your shoulders stretching forward, and I'll see a lot of people holding weights, and they're stretching forward like this, and look, they're pulling up from the middle of their back. Most everybody's looking at the ground. <laughs> so hands behind the back, you wanna keep your chin out, push your glutes backward like a tin soldier, keep your eyes ahead on the floor, you're gonna feel a nice stretch to the back of the hands. You're gonna push through your heels. Use your hamstrings and glutes to pull up. So I use a four count, two, three, and four. Coffee table back. I feel the nice stretch back there. And then up, two, three, and four. Hips under. One, two, three, and four. Up, two, three, and four. Down, two, three, and four. Up, two, three, and four. Now I'm gonna hyphenate this. I normally probably do about a minute of these in regular hour class. Up, let's just do four more for fun. Four, three, two, one, back up. Now if you have music playing in the background, um, my counts <laughs> should go right with your music. Two more of these. So this is an A count broken up into four down and four up. Most music's in eight counts. One, two, three. My chin is up, my eyes are ahead, and I'm squeezing up. You can also uh, do this with one foot, toe is pointed to the back. You wanna, you're coming from a first position or a third position, so you take your toe back 
and you're going to keep your back flat, keep your hand behind your back until you feel comfortable. And then you're going to come forward, two, three, arabesque, squeeze up through that one leg, your calf muscle and your hamstring. <laughs> so if I were a ballerina in the Nutcracker and I could not hold on to this chair, I would be balancing my head, my nose ahead. I'm seated back into my heel and hamstring and I'm going to squeeze up with the back of that leg. So one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. This is also a one-legged deadlift. One, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. And if you're pretty fit, know what you're doing, you can hold a weight or just reach to the floor with your hands. Five, six, seven, eight. I'm gonna hold off on the stretch. I'm gonna turn to the other side. Let's go this way. One leg, pardon me, the front leg. Hand behind. One, two, three, and four. Squeeze up, seven and eight. One, two, three, and four. Ham, string, tuck. One, two, three, and four. Ham, string. This is called a piquet, by the way. I'm pulling my heel into the back of my calf muscle. That's a ballet move. Five, six, seven, eight. A few more. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. One more. One, two, three, and four. Five, six, seven, and eight. My last move today before I stretch you completely out is the hip. So this hip exercise, standing on one leg. Now, if you feel more comfortable standing in a upright position, you can roll, push your foot out as if you're rolling a golf ball under your foot. You can also push out and lift a foot, push out and lift a foot, and push out and lift a foot. That gets the pressure off your hips. But uh, most of the time in class, I like to uh, stand on one leg, get into an angle, push my foot out, hand is on the bar or chair or on the hip. Normally I'm about like this, I think though. And you're just got your leg extended, your ankle is toward the ceiling, and you're just gonna drop lift, drop lift. You're gonna feel it in your outer thigh, drop lift. Gotta have strong hip muscles. Keep the abs in, keep that posture. So if you start to hang onto the chair and lose your posture, don't do that. <laughs> Try to stay at an angle. Perfect form. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. Bend both knees, push your hip out. Nice stretch. Release, other side. We're gonna wind this up. So like I said, you can go standing, push out like the golf ball, or push out, lift the foot. Push out, lift the foot to relieve any pressure on this hip. You just don't feel right about leaning. So pull this knee in and lift with the bent knee. I should have said that a while ago, but you can bend the knee. I'm gonna go at an angle. So I've got a full extension. Here I've got my shoulder joint, hip joint, ankle joint. I'm not gonna go any higher than this. So I'm just gonna drop and lift, drop and lift, abs in, drop and lift, drop and lift, drop lift. You can also hold like this to your bar or chair, drop lift. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down and push it out. Arm over the ear. And down and release. We're gonna put our hands to the chair. Push back, soft knees. Push way back, get a nice stretch in your lats and your back. Lower back roll, tilt the hips under, push the tailbone back. Lower back roll, 
push the tailbone back, and then all the way up, roll up, vertebra by vertebra. Take a nice stretch, heel to the back, drop the hip and knee, arm is over the ear, and down. Take the heel to the back, nice stretch through the calf muscle and foot, drop the hip and knee, arm is over the ear, and down. Take a big deep breath into the nose. Exhale. You should be feeling so good right now. Deep breath in. Exhale out. Last time, deep breath in. Exhale out. And thank you for coming to class today. We'll see you in the next series.